Hey everyone, I'm Becca and in this video I'm going to show you how to convert audio to text. This is really useful if you have a podcast and you want to make the audio clip into a video, you can add subtitles and share it online. I'll also be showing you how to convert the audio to a text file so that you can download the file if you need it as a script. It's really easy to do this and we'll be using the free online video editing software Veed. You can search for Veed, V-E-E-D, in your search engine, or you can hit the link in the description and you can sign up for free today. Once you have signed up or logged in, Veed will prompt you to create a new project. Click the new project button in the top right, and then hit the upload a file button and find the files that you wish to use. Veed will then give you three options if you wish to make your audio into a video. I'll show you how to do that later, but for now we're gonna start with a blank canvas. To begin the process of transcribing your audio into text file, we need to add subtitles first. Luckily, Veed has an automatic subtitle generator that we can use to do this quickly. Head over to the sidebar and click subtitles. This will open up the subtitle window and then hit the auto transcribe button. Select the language that you are speaking in. I'm speaking in English Great Britain. Make sure you're using the correct file and then hit start. Veed will automatically transcribe your audio. This could take a couple of seconds to a few minutes depending on your Wi-Fi speed and file size. You can see that Veed has added our subtitles to the audio, so I'm just gonna press play and see if there are any mistakes. Hello and welcome to my podcast. I'm using this as an example to show you how to convert audio into text. As you can see, there are no mistakes in these subtitles. However, if yours does have a couple of spelling errors, it's very easy to change them. Just head over to the text box window and then you can correct any errors that may have occurred. Once you are happy with the text, head over to the options button and this is where you can download the files. If you just want the text file, select from the drop down menu the TXT file format and then click the download button. This will then automatically save to your computer. You can then click on the file and it will show you the audio as your text. If you want to download the text for your closed captions, make sure you hit the SRT file format in the drop down menu. You can then go ahead and upload those closed captions to YouTube. Say I wanted to create a video out of this audio file so I could post it on Instagram to promote my podcast, it's very easy to do this too. I'm gonna head over to the upload button on the sidebar and then click upload an image. I'm gonna find the image I wish to use and upload that. If you don't want your image to be right in the center, click on the image and drag it to the position you want. You can also adjust the size by dragging out the dots. I can also add sound waves to make the video a bit more interesting. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Head over to the elements tab and then scroll down to the bottom. Here you can see a selection of sound waves and I'm just going to click one and add it to the video. Now I know that the subtitles will be in this area so I'm just going to click and drag the sound wave to around here. You can make adjustments to the sound waves by clicking on the color button if you want to change the color and also you can change the size by dragging out the buttons as well. If you want to learn more about the sound waves feature in Veed I shall leave a link to another video I made in the description. Once you are happy with your video, click the export button in the top right. You can then use the drop down menu to use a different export setting. Make sure you have the burn subtitles button highlighted, otherwise your subtitles won't be added to your video. And when you're ready, hit the export video button. Veed will then render your video. This could take a few seconds to a few minutes depending on your Wi-Fi speed. Once your video has rendered, you can press the play button to check it one last time. And if there is anything you want to change, you can hit the edit video button and this will take you back into the Veed editing suite where you can make your changes accordingly. If you're happy with your video, you can go ahead and click the download MP4 button and this will automatically be saved to your computer. And that's how you convert audio to text. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and you can join Veed for free today with the link in the description. And for more easy to follow editing tutorials, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.